This dark mode color grading I use three softwares, Photoshop, LUT Generator and Premiere Pro. So I use those three softwares to create this look, film look. Guys, I like these looks. The things you have to do, you have to stay with me and then see the process how I did. Here in my timeline, I have this clip which is looks like this, okay? I have, cause it is one set in the same location, but yeah, different people. But the things I'm going to do here, I'm going to export frame. That frame that I'm going to export and I have to import it in Adobe Photoshop. So cause I'm going to make that look in Adobe Photoshop. So let me use, for example, this frame and I have to come back here on this export frame or you can use this shortcut control shift plus E. And then I'm gonna export image, yes, which has GPH format. Here for this path, it's gonna be saved on desktop. So let me call it as one, for example, and then you press okay. And then, so I'm gonna jump in Adobe Photoshop because I'm going to import that image. It has been saved on the desktop, we yeah, are, is this one. That's cool. So already it is opened in Camilla Low. So we're gonna make this color in this Camilla Low, okay? My clip it was shooted on in Canon Low because I use Canon EOS R5 with 18 to 35 1.8 stigma lens, okay? So that reason why you see it has looks like this it is in the s log yes it is in log for canon so here i'm gonna use these settings in camilla low so because it has more settings okay but we don't use we will not use all of it okay so let me open up here for this color and i have to increase this temperature for example let me add five here and this tint and I have to add five okay just plus five and then let me close it and then let me open up this light so and I'm going to balance the light exposure contrast shadow or something like that okay so for my clip the light is balanced so the things I can do here for example I can increase the contrast yeah something like this and let me increase this black yes not too much right and let me increase this shadow yes like this so this is looks nice and so i have to go here on this effect and let me increase this clarity and this texture yes there's a few little bit okay so you don't have to add too much okay so and let me come back here for this color again and let me increase this vibrance you see how the image is looking and some few saturation yeah like this yeah this just looks nice and then close this color and come back here on this color mixer yeah for this main mixer because the things i have to do i have to mute all i have to decrease all colors except orange and lead so the things i have to do you see for this color mixer it has who saturation and luminance so the things i have to do you go here on this saturation and i have to mute or just decrease all the colors except orange and lead yeah something like this even these poppers and magnetites okay something like this you see how this image is looking so and 
after closing for or after decreasing all the colors for this clip so let me cross this mixer and then i have to come back here for this calibrate calibration okay for this calibration i have to increase this who in the green primarily and i decrease this hole for this blue primer you see how the skin tone is looking okay so let me add some few yellows about here right and then increase this you see how the changes is on my clip okay so maybe this is what the main color i want and then the things i have to do after having looks like this and i'm going to save these color settings okay after saving it it's gonna bring something which is called the preset and then have to convert the preset into light and uh, i already imported in adobe premiere pro so the things i have to do after making this color so you have to come back here on these three dots because i'm going to save the settings right so i have to set the settings and then you click save so here i can rename the name of my settings for example let me call it like black yeah black mode for example so and they have to save it here on desktop for example and let me, click, let me click save right after clicking save and then you click done because you have already saved your preset so the things i'm going to do and i'm going to open the software which is called large generator the one which um which is going to help me to convert preset into lat okay so first they have to generate hard this software is going to generate like the small image which i'm going to use for taking that color settings right so see how it is and then let me save it here for desktop okay and click save right so and again i'm going to import that image this lot generator has been exported right so and have to import is this one the image which looks like this and they have to open up this image right and then after opening it and then come back here for this filter and then go on camera low you see guys this image is in camera row and then i'm going to load the settings which have been saved right so now you come back here for the three dots and then you click on load settings for the first step we have been click here for these save settings okay so for the second step we have to click here for red settings because we're gonna import this preset we have been saved on the desktop this one which is called black mode so you press okay you see how it is and then you click okay then after pressing okay and i'm going to save it in png way right so let me save it in png way you see it is in png let me call it yes black for example and then i press save so now let me come back here for this lot generator so and then i'm going to click here for the convert to cube right so now I have to click here on it and then i have to choose the black this image you have been exported in adobe photoshop and then you press ok and then you press open and you have to wait you see guys the conversion is done and then you press ok so after done so now i'm gonna jump in premiere pro okay so you see here on this timeline i have more clips okay more than one clip so now i'm going to use adjustment layer guys this is no more things right so let me create adjustment layer and then i have to put it here on the top of this clip right and then let me jump on color workspace as usual right guys and then and i'm going to import my lat so let me go here on this basic correction let me import my lat here so and then you go on desktop is this one which is called black as i told you that image have been exported in photoshop we have also we have been converted into cube right you know the cube is the extension of lat right so now i have to click on it and then open up 
and then you see how the image it is looks like same as the one who have been exported in photoshop so guys when you pray now you see how the image is looking even the first one or the second one so now i have two like two image i have like two colors so the brown maybe it's brown and black so you see how it is looking this is looks good guys whatever here you can add some add few details about your color okay if you don't like the color okay maybe you can see and then you say this is not enough for what i want and then you can add some things about it okay so let me try to add other details okay in this color so let me increase the contrast so guys we are still here on this adjustment layer right so let me add the contrast something like this and black too and then you have to make sure for all clips okay and then you see how it is so even for the highlight i can decrease some small highlight okay and then so let's go on the skin tone for this hcl secondary you can yes go here for this red and then you have to balance it something like this you choose only red okay even for other clips you see how the things it is yeah something like this okay this is better and then i have to add like like this one and then you increase this blood okay in order to hide like the edges between this lead and brack something like this maybe this is better you can add more no not too more okay not too much yeah sorry yeah this one this is looks good okay and then so let me add just like a few colors on this black right so let me close it and then i'm gonna open this curve yes and then i have to choose red okay so when i choose red for example you see how the things is looks like right this is nice so let me add dot here on the center of this line okay so i can add red like this something on my yes like this one guys this is nice even if you uh for other way you can come back here for this hc color wheels match because i have to choose shadow so if you want to add the green in your shadow you see guys how the things is either you can add brutes yeah it's up to you you can add any color you want so for me i like to use this curve so this curve and i have to choose this yes this red so maybe let me put it here on the center guy yes for this curve and I have to choose color looks like this this is nice guys this is nice this is the color mode what I want so that was before that was before without color grading and then this is after guys so that that's how my color is man yeah man that's how i made this color grading any question or support please drop it in the comment down below i just want to know what you think and see you in next video peace